Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. A rigid bar AB is supported in a vertical plane by a hinge at the end A and by a horizontal string attached to the bar as shown. The end B of the bar carries a load of W newtons. Find the tensile force in the string. So first of all, let us try to understand this arrangement. So there is a string over here onto which some tension force will be developing. So let us say that the name of that force is T. Okay. Apart from that, there is a weight already acting in the downward direction. Okay. Its name is W. All right. So what basically we need to do is everything is in equilibrium and we have to calculate the value of T. Okay. And we know very well that when everything is in equilibrium, summation of moments of all the forces about a certain point and that point that we're going to take is this point, point A. Okay. Uh, the hinge point so about point a is going to be equal to zero all right so we have this force w okay so this is the line of action of w okay this is the line of action and this is the perpendicular distance okay let us say that the name of this particular point is p so what we've got to do is w force multiplied by perpendicular distance a p right so w multiplied by a p okay now this force is such that it produces a clockwise moment okay if you watch carefully if you keep your right hand thumb over here and try to move your baby finger along this direction it produces a clockwise moment and hence um, it has to be taken as negative secondly we have this force in the form of t if you watch carefully if you keep your thumb over here right hand thumb move your baby finger along this direction it produces an anti-clockwise moment hence has to be taken as positive this is force t and this is the perpendicular distance okay let me let me tell you this this is the force t and this is the perpendicular distance that is ac now we're going to go ahead and calculate these values okay suppose we have to find ac now ac is actually a part of this triangle over here okay and if you watch this triangle this much portion is a by 2 from a to d now if this is a by 2 then from a to c this distance a to c it has got to be a by 2 cos theta all right and when you speak of um calculating this uh, what do you call ap now ap appears to me as a part of this triangle triangle abp okay now this is a all right this is theta and this is also got to be theta if this is theta this is a then this over here is a cos theta and this over here is a sin theta you can also say that ap is equal to a sin theta so what essentially i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be putting all these values over here so let's see what happens and everything shall be equal to zero so negative of w into ap what's ap um where have i written a sine theta plus t multiplied by ac what's ac ac is a by 2 cos theta is equal to zero okay so you can write this as tension t is equal to 2 w a sine theta whole divided by a cosine theta and a and a will cancel out what remains is sine theta by cos theta that is tan theta you can finally work out the tension is equal to 2 w tan theta that's it so guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.